Hi guys, welcome to a long awaited video on how to trade during election period. And um, we have an election coming up, the United States general elections for 2020. Then um, we're going to be going through a lot of things. And elections, <sighs> even if I don't know anything in trading, I know this, um, that elections can be, can be very, very tricky. Yes, and if you're not careful on this day, you might lose a lot of money. So we'll be going through a lot of things. We're going through the scope of the whole thing, and we're gonna pretty much talk about how we do here at DeFi and what you should, what I think you should do too. And then um, how to go about the non-USD currencies during elections and how to trade USD. Like during elections, the instructions are pretty much kind of different in a bit. Then I'm gonna give you a live example from past election, the United States 2016, when Donald Trump won. And then I'm gonna also give it as a bonus, an advice kind of for buy and hold of strategy. So I'm able to stay to the end of this video in order to get all this wonderful piece of information. But then before we go further, I would like to implore thee, in case you are not subscribed, kindly subscribe to our channel. This is our channel, Citizens Enterprises. Oh, you can see where is a pretty much um, a young man at the time this video was recorded. So kindly support the channel, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and please, please, please like, share this video at the end. Um, I know your friends will like it too, and it also helps the algorithm. So let's get started, guys. Elections. <laughs> uh, like I said, even if I, I don't know how to trade any fundamental or I don't know anything much about fundamentals, I know about this one. This um, can be very, very tricky. Yes. Um, and these are. Um, this is pretty much one of the most um, important type as an impact and um, fundamentals that happens every once every four years. And then um, being um, the ushering kind of uh, as in a process to usher in a new administration or, or however you want to think about it, investors highly um, and, and look forward to this because it, it kind of um, will affect their decisions. So, um, um, due to the policies of the coming administrations with the whole um, the whole thing, the whole anticipation and everything. So that's why it's always crazy in fact to cut the whole story short. So um, now we're going to be going to how we do here at DIFA. And um, just before we get to the whole thing, this is not some, this is not a uh, kind of a channel to kind of um, lay down your political views or what you think about elections, please, please don't do that in my comment section, please. There are pretty much many YouTube videos out there on Twitter, even on Twitter, on social media, Instagram, there are pretty much many places you can do that. Please don't do that on my comment section. Uh, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to smile at you if you do that. So um, we are traders, um, we don't, we leave BS and sentiments out of everything. We're only doing this because um, we hope to take action irrespective of what happens because elections are here there's gonna be a winner we don't care who the winner is we only want to take actions based on what happens so that's it guys so now that that's out of the way let's get to it guys <laughs> uh how we do have differ i know this might not be what you were expecting but uh, we don't trade during election day who would be crazy to trade on election day by the way so we chill out and uh wait before you get uh pissed off or get ahead of yourself i'll explain <sighs> it's, it's crazy understand just to start with spreads are high on the election day on the election night whatever spreads are high over the roof and um the big boys being the banks who the big banks who control this game that's like that's like the the Christmas. That's like Christmas, because on that day, they have a free pass to do pretty much anything they want to do. Yes, and they can blame it on the election. I'm gonna show you this in this video. I'm gonna because I pack my 
my analysis with facts and with numbers and, and past events. So it happens. So um, during that day, you can liken the elections to the purge. You guys know about the movie The Purge. That one night where everyone has um, um, a free pass to do whatever he or she wants to do. And then, um, you know, pretty much everywhere is crazy. People are doing crazy things. So the elections night is that, um, is that night for the big banks. Yes, the whole day or the little night, anyhow you want to call it. And, um, you know, they can pretty much push market anywhere and then blame it on the elections. Yes, if market goes 1,000 pips, in the in in the buy in the long direction and then two thousand pips in the sell direction then five thousand pips in the buy and they can just blame it on elections oh we thought this guy was gonna win oh Louisiana release uh, their own this and then you know and then pretty much the whole next day the media will just back it up you see crazy things on crazy explanations on Bloomberg and CNBC explaining why market was crazy on that day and then that's it traders obviously will lose their money and that that's it so um size from that and the reason is this there are pretty much a lot of things we can't control in trading look this game is not a game meant for you and this game is not a game meant for you to win it might be the harsh truth but it's still the truth anyways because um we don't own this game we don't control it um we as we tell traders we're actually the underdogs in this game the big bands control the game whether you like it or not i actually explained this whole big bangs um how they control the game and everything my cause so if you really want to um kind of um get a whole glimpse of how this game really works i think you should get my course um, as of the moment of recording i think it's going to be out very soon yes so i'm going to leave um the link in the description one is out in this video and subscribing videos so but that but that's by the way so there are a lot of things we can't control here and um i think if i'm gonna give you a fair percentage which i don't know is even up to that i think um what we're able to control in the market is you now up to 10 percent and um i don't know if that's the, the accurate um percentage but my point is this um the only thing you have at least you have your account and you can actually um, do whatever you want to do with it. I think that's pretty much what you do. But what happens in the market, trust me, you don't have any power over that. And why would you want to give out that 10% control kind of you, that you have just for one night? It's just crazy. It's foolhardy. It doesn't make sense. Because on this day, um, things are crazy on this night or on this day. And you don't you don't just wanna be part of this whole this thing when everyone has his head on fire, um going about the elections and all that. So you just um here at DIFA, we just chill out and watch everyone. <laughs> yes. Once everything and once everything is okay and back to normal, we resume trade. So that's why we chill out and then um we stop trading three days before the elections, yeah. Yeah, before everything gets hot, we just stop trading, and then um, we pretty much resumes and um, um, resume three days after the elections if things go back to normal. So um, that's pretty much it. So um, <laughs> it might not be the best, but believe me, this is just the bright move. This is the best move. This is the most sensible move. You don't want to be foolish to trade on election night. Please, we are not that type of traders. You can go to other YouTube channels that will recommend you do that. But here at DIFA, we do that. And I'm going to show you more reasons for that. So let's first look at how to um, go about this with um, the non-USD. Okay, this is the non-USD. Sorry for that blunder. The non, with the non-USD uh, currency. Um, let me take for example the Japanese yen, the euro, or let me say the British elections, um, and anything that doesn't have to do with the US. Now, on that day, um, so rather during that period, we close our trades on that particular currency. On that currency, yes, take note to what I just highlighted. On that, um, every trade on that particular currency alone, we end it three days before the elections and then we resume trading three days after elections. Um, if it's the GBP, um, pretty much everything that has or associated with the GBP, whether you're trading British stocks or 
um, the GBP or G, uh, the FSTC, the, the FTSC, or in the stand, um, pretty much um, anything that has to do with the um, the British um, uh, economy, you understand, pairs and currencies and all that. Um, you just tap out from that at least three days before the elections, and then three days after the elections, you continue. Believe me, this for your own good. I have seen um, how crazy election night, election days, election day can be. And believe me, you don't want to be part of that. Yes. There's a lot of, um, I know a lot of ad adverts and a lot of ads and a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of forest gurus in quote, forest influencers are already taking money from people. They jump my forex, my live election night trading, um, this, that, that. Believe me, um, for the most part, you know, there are winners in this game and there are losers. Believe me, 99% of everyone that's going to trade that night is going to end as a loser. And only 1% are going to win with the big banks. And you're going to see that in the live example I'm going to give right now. So that's it for the non-USD, just for that currency. You just tap out. Now, let's go to the USD, where things get really interesting. Now, how to trade USD during elections? Close everything. Close everything. Yes, during this time, it's pretty much everyone... Out of the out of dance floor, yes, just close everything because there's a saying um, when the US um, sneezes, <laughs> the whole world catches the flu. Yes, when there's a little, a little um, kind of news from the US economy, everyone is all over, all over the place. Understand? When one guy at Wall Street breaks his leg, then oh, everyone's saying, Oh, that's the end of the world. <laughs> and it's so crazy. So that's why um the US elections um kind of pretty much as a, have impact on this um um on these other markets. Yes, whether you want to believe it or not. I'm gonna be showing you with the live example I talked about. So please um three days before the US elections, please close everything. And with respect to the coming elections, I think this um, um uh, the Coming elections um, around um, is that November, 3rd November, yeah, that's 3rd November, and then um, yes, um, I think by 31st we should close everything. Yes, three days before, so by October 31st, please close everything. Close everything, both trades and profit, trades and loss, trades and break even. Everything you have on your account that is um that is not a long term investment like your buy and hold because I'm gonna give you a separate tip for that. Everything that has to do with post scalping, um day trading, even swing trade, everything, every active order, please close out. It is period of forex um um stocks indices, everything close everything down by October thirty first or for subsequent elections from now. Three days before, please, guys. This is for your own good. As far as you're going to be a DeFi trader and you're going to be following this channel, believe me, I have been on both sides of this, and I'm going to tell you right now that this is, for the most part, the best advice anyone can give you. So, guys, and then pretty much um, three days afterwards, after the elections, if things go back to normal, then can we just continue? If things go back you now, because there are cases where um, the whole craziness and the whole saga can continue like a week or thereabout. But then, why is this? Why is this this way? Three days before, we don't want to be part of all that. Yes, and um, maybe on that night, your friends can come up. Yes, I just made 500 pips this night alone, bro. You just missed out on a pack. Understand? You're gonna see um, testimonials and all that. Believe me this for the best you did the right thing to stay out of this whole um saga understand because um for those who are reckless enough to trade during these times <laughs> how much are they gonna make it a, a, a thousand bucks or ten thousand or whatever but that with that um attitude of recklessness believe me it is it is in, in no time they're gonna blow that away believe me <laughs> it's not about who wins today it's about who wins in the long run that's all people don't understand success in trading and investing 
is not measured in short term, like what I made today, what I made this week. No, it's measured in the long run. At the end of the year, who comes out profitable? At the end of two years, five years, at the end of um, a decade, who comes out profitable? Believe me, the great investors like Warren Buffett and um, Charlie Munger and all that, they didn't, they didn't go that, that road. They weren't reckless enough. If they were reckless, they wouldn't be where they are. So don't be moved by short-term um, um, sources. Please don't be moved by that. Um, it's the fastest route to destruction as far as trading and investing is concerned. And most times when these things happen, people kind of look for who to blame. But obviously, you were reckless in the first place. That's why you lost everything. So those who were um, reckless enough to trade during this time, believe me, it's going to be a matter of time and they're going to blow it off. Understand because on this day, there should be one guy you should be scared of, and that's the big banks. And it's just like giving, it's just like giving the devil a free pass for a day. You don't want to dance on that day. You just want to chill out and then step out on the dance floor and then let everyone set himself on fire. Understand? You just watch the whole thing. When the whole saga and drama is over, you come back into the game. Don't trade on election day. I can't stress this enough, guys. So let's continue. So um, before we get to the buy and hold, let's look at the live example I, was I, I told you guys about. So 2016, November 9th, 2016 US general elections. <laughs> and you don't need a genie to tell you that. Look at it here, right, right here. You can see the crazy aspect. Now, um, this is actually crazy. This night was crazy. I can vividly remember it like it was yesterday. But then look at this. Um, can see now. Um, now here is why you should um, follow my advice. Now look at this was three days before. Um, if you followed my advice by this point, 4th November, you should have been out of the market. And then resume trading again. One, two, three on. 16th of um, and 14th of November 2016 and you see pretty much if you do this and as a day trader um you're kind of concerned with the general flow of the market and not this now let me tell you what, what happened on this day with respect to this now on this day um markets went let's measure it guys this was um this was um 271 pips yes now it went 271 pips up and then um okay just let's just um, measure the whole the whole length of the candlestick now from here yes up here so this is like 295 pips give or take so market made a move and um, 295 pips stand um, in total the total difference of 295 but then here's the interesting part um before making the bearish before controlling okay but then the actual movement of the market was um 118 pips nothing nothing abnormal um if on a good day we usually get this on a good day on a very good day but the craziness was actually this because here traders before market continued going down it made sure it stopped out every trade up here all the stops which is 276 pip and um, for a regular a standard day trader a scalper it won't use um so um it won't use 276 um um pips as his lot side um scalpers and day traders i know are usually below 50 pips in fact i'm going to give that as a hint if you scalp or a day trader i think you shouldn't be going anything less than 50 pips anything more than 50 pips rather in your in your and it won't set in your stop loss because it's actually insane the, the um, if things actually go wrong the blow will be so um it's gonna be it's gonna be great on your account so um so now 267 pips and for everyone trading at this point in time everyone is everyone trading at that night obviously you're either you're scalping so at this point everyone that sets a buy order a buy stop order mm, it just is either those that set sell orders to go short but then their stop loss are going to be up it took all of them out those that set pending orders it activated it but now 
let's see something interesting market went how many pips again it went 125 pips down downwards <laughs> which is okay let's just say those that activated those that got their um what's it called their buy orders activated market went 125 pips which means most of these guys their stops got hit their, their stop loss and that's it so the only people that are kind of um created and um, made anything out of this were actually those who were just like staring at the whole thing all the time but pretty much <laughs> if i witnessed this kind of moves you will notice how crazy these things happen uh, within within i don't know they just happen you understand the price movements are very very crazy like and like i told you the spreads are really really crazy spreads, spreads are or high off the oh I'm, I'm up the route and um, the big banks are pushing price anywhere they want so it's just crazy during this period believe me i've seen this it's just crazy and you don't want to be part of all this because um for a normal retail trader for a normal retail trader with a standard experience at least you stand no chance here just take it from me unless you're kind of um um you're just badass and all that in spotting this kind of moves maybe to getting at the right spot what I mean right for I mean inch perfect and get out at the right spot to inch perfect size that you don't have a chance you don't start a chance let's just be frank with you guys so but then on the general side you can see um if you wanted to go short on this pair but then um as is because that's most of you asking me why I'm a swing trader and all that you can see it we use the daily time frame because on the daily time frame you can see the general price movements going downwards irrespective of what's happening but <laughs> if you had looked at this on your four hour one hour even the mini time frames that's when just as an assignment just go and do this as an assignment look at this chart on your on your lower time frames go back to i know it's going to be stressful so go back to november 9th 2016 and look at how crazy things were um, it's, gonna, it's just going to blow your mind so but this is a, a different case because trump won so um trump wasn't expected to win so but um pretty much give or take um it's almost like this but yes it can be different with our election and i can guarantee you it's going to be even more it's, it's going to be um, it's going to be crazier this time around because um right now we don't even we, <laughs> we don't even have any clear expectations like we don't even have a clear winner right now so um i think things are gonna be crazier than it was now so if this was crazy i think now this 2020 is gonna be crazier so but then on the general side of things you can see if for a trader who um, went out here and then continued here since we don't have um affected him much because price will continue going you understand doing what it was supposed to do you can see things went back to normal and not too much to see so now so now let's um take another example with a pair totally unrelated to the a um, the USD and um, the funny thing is the AUD USD used is usually like the safe haven that pair that separates itself from the normal USD madness. But then um, even a high impact um, event like the elections doing spare this one. As you can see, where's the whole thing? Here, right here. You can see. So everything market did that and it was. Um, it's just around um it's around um 167 pips right yes 167 pips yes everything so but then um i'm pretty it's not about the pips it's just about the price movement because we saw price stop out every other in the cell direction every other all of them all of them in the sell order so um, it went um as low as 122 pips and then went back up covered everything back i even went back further um 47 pips before closing so but then um uh within the gaps just in and out in and out market just moved how many pips again 19 pips oh, let's just give it 20 pips the whole day market just opened at and closed between 20 pips but then look at it the price movement within that time frame the day, within the whole day was just crazy so how possibly would you get this that's just it because i whether for a regular trader whether you put a buy order or you put a sell order 
it's still the same thing, it's still the same doom we're talking about. So that's why, and this is happening on the AUD and ZD, totally unrelated. There's nothing like USD here. It's just if you know AUD and ZD by now, you should know that this is just like a safe haven. You understand? Normally, when things go crazy with the US dollar, it doesn't concern this guy, but now he didn't spare this one. So that's just what we're talking about, guys. You don't want to be part of this madness. Understand? So it's best best to stay away. As in, I, th I think three days is the is, is the um sane um period to give. Like yes, three days is okay. So guys, it's just it's just three days before three days after six days, six days every four years. I don't think it's that much. I remember, I told you guys the goal is not to trade every day. The goal is to make money. Understand? So um, if we're gonna if there's a day or if there's gonna be a period. Um, that's gonna put us in danger then we don't want to be in, as in the market that day understand um charlie monga and um, warren buffett's right hand man was um say sometimes the only extraordinary the extraordinary things you have to do or the extraordinary thing you have to do is just by not doing anything foolish yes that's the only extraordinary thing um, you got because according to him if um if i knew i was gonna die then you just need to tell me so that i don't go there <laughs> yes that's it so um, if, um, if there is a danger coming, just tell me, and I'm not gonna be foolish to go there. And when I do that, you think I'm a super. I have a superpower. I just avoided it, but I just avoided being stupid by going directly to what's gonna kill me. So that's just it. So that's it, guys. You don't wanna be caught in this whole madness. So um, for the buy and hold strategy, um, keep holding. That's just it. If you bought these things in the first place, be it gold, crypto, Bitcoin, oil. Um, then um, you should um, have ha uh, had um, um, long-term plans for it. This um, usually buy and hold strategy is usually the long-term um, investing strategy. Like me, um, the assets I'm holding now, I don't, I have no plans to sell them anytime soon. So I'm just gonna hold them for as long as possible. I'm talking about 10 years at least. So that's a lot. Of, and within 10 years, you should have gone into elections. So you already know that these things will happen. And another point there is um, that or even when these things happen, they don't affect the real value of that decision. So um, we have um, during this corona period in 2020, we saw um, um, oil price drop down to minus even, not even zero. And now, right now, it's back and it's, it's, it's just back to normal, doing what it's, it's been doing. So price always um correct for these stops so whether you see gold falling down although um it doesn't I and mean, gold doesn't um kind of because gold is usually the safe haven so um when things go crazy because um when things go crazy gold is just there. Um, a bar of gold is going to be a bar of gold even if christ comes so these things don't affect the real value of what you bought understand it's just going to affect um it's, even if it's going to affect the price based on um these commodities or assets being measured in usd yes most stocks are measured in dollars most commodities dollars which is crypto asset dollars so um um because these things are measured in dollars let's just give you a benefit of that that um, the u.s elections might affect it but then it doesn't really affect the value of the even um even in forex you can see even after the whole craziness market still has an continue doing what it was meant to do understand so um buy and hold strategy keep holding you are the only guys um allowed to stay in the game because um pretty much you have already um, um laid down plans for all these things even before buying those assets unless you just bought it for the fun of buying then i don't know for you but but then long-term strategy a lot of things are going to happen but we're looking at the intrinsic value of the asset you have and that's the only thing you should be looking at and the elections uh, i don't think elections are one of those things that affect it so guys if you're buying hodling just keep holding so let's recap and just end it this video is already getting long um recap um we take as much control as possible in our trading we don't want to give up control we don't want to give up the little um part of the way we have we don't want to give it up we want to be in control for as much as possible so don't trade on election day it's foolish please guys um this might sound harsh but don't be foolish please don't join the crowd don't join the head it's gonna be tempting you're gonna see a lot of people posting um, um testimonials of whatever whatever please don't fall for it in fact if you know anything that's gonna put in that temptation please just stay out of it guys 
so I'm um, give it a break three days before the three days before rule three days before three days after rule for the best if you buy and hold them keep holding these don't affect the real value of your assets the stone will come and things will correct if price if these things even affect in the first place so guys that's it guys that's pretty much um i know this might not be the strategy you are looking for but remember here at Defa, we want the best for you understand um these are just my ideas just my ideology i find out that um for the most part um the human, the human nature tends to um still and do that thing he has set apart in his heart so um if if you still want to be if you still want to make a mistake on that day and just try out and see then fine for you what i just said here is just a, a man's opinion based on experience i've already shown you live events of where this things happen on the chart so if that's not enough for you to believe that these things can be crazy at times then i don't know what will confuse you and convince you rather so that's it guys um i want the best for you so i'm just gonna sh um, um table out the whole truth for you guys so guys please um take note of these things and then try to um stay safe during this period you don't want to be part of this craziness like i, I keep i can't say it enough so that's it guys that's it for this video um, if you like this video, kindly subscribe. We have a lot, of, a, a lot as in coming up. So, um, you don't want to miss it. So that's why you have to enable the notification bell too, so you get alerted whenever we drop awesome content like this. And also, um, enable to like and share this video, please, guys. Um, also drop a comment if you have any question. Like I said, I don't entertain political comments, please. This is not some political forum or something like that. This is for business. This is for traders. We talk as traders and investors. We don't entertain political um, um, arguments right here. So please don't use my comment box for that. So um, please, guys, um, pretty much share, like, subscribe, notification, all this. Support the channel, guys, please. That's, peace out. Stay safe as usual. Thanks, guys.